Hi guys, so we are opening our amazing buggy that we got. It is the Baby Jogger City 2 Tour Double Pram. And we chose the color Seacrest, which is so pretty. So we're unboxing this buggy for the first time and obviously I'm heavily pregnant right now so I cannot do any heavy lifting or even joining so I'm literally just watching Ashley take it apart, put it together and we're figuring it out. <laughs> I don't know why he does it the rules like that. But anyway, so this buggy comes with um, a double push chair already installed in it. Um, it has a basket underneath, it has um, a double bar at the back, it's about 67 centimeters wide and you can buy loads of attachments for it. So we bought the carry pot, which you'll see later on, um, to attach to both of the pushchair sides. Um, it doesn't come with a car seat, which we realized, but in our next vlog you will see the car seat that we did actually purchase. So this buggy is really super easy to lift, as you can see it actually did that with one hand and <laughs> it takes a lot of getting used to but it's really simple and it's so light. I'm sure once I've had the twins I'll be able to carry this and fold it down myself. So um, he's so proud. <laughs> it is a 360 rotation wheels which I love because you can stir it with one hand, you can spin it around, it's so easy to manoeuvre. And as I said, I'm so in love with the colour because our last buggy was like a black one and I was excited to get a bit of a pop of colour, not too bright. As I was saying, it's super easy to fold down. There's a button on the handle which releases the top half and you just sort of click it together and lift it up like really hard, like brisk, like and it should connect all together so we're obviously trying to figure it out here um i think he didn't want to like break it he felt <laughs> here he's just sort of testing the brakes in the front because you can push that lever up or down to um lock the front brakes okay so here the posture has um a footrest for each child which is amazing <laughs> Um, so if they fall asleep, you can recline it both forwards and backwards. And here it has a window on each um, side of the push chair compartment. And as you can see here, you can release the lever at the back, which brings down the back of the push chair and you can recline it in the front so your child can sleep comfortably. And underneath had so much room as well, which I can't wait to use. So here are the carry pots. They're so cute. I was a little bit worried at first. I thought, oh, how is my baby going to fit in here? But I have to remember that it is a slimline buggy and um, I don't remember the measurements but it is actually fine for newborns to sleep in or to go around in up until I think it was six months, I'm not sure. But they just pop right out and there's a lever inside, there's two either side that lock. Here is the inside of the carry pot. As I was saying, there's bars inside that lock it into place. Um, the good thing about it is that it won't fold or collapse when you're using it and those pulleys inside mean you can pull it back up to make it go down again. <laughs> um, I'm just showing you the, how sturdy it can be and inside they have like little mini pockets where you can stick like a bib or your dummy or some money, whatever you want. <laughs> um, so to connect the top of the um, carry pot that just slides right over and the good thing about the buggy also is that it's uv50 protected which is another plus to this buggy which we actually really really like so here we're just sort of figuring out again how we're going to use it and maneuver it and i think it looks amazing so just showing you guys like what it's like inside the push chair and the, how we can connect um the carry cots And after going back to the instructions, we realize how you can connect them. So they slot in pretty easily, there's no problems with that. I feel like if you were out and about and you needed to like swiftly remove the carry pots, they could be done. 
the straps at the bottom are to secure the base that we first clipped in because as I said when you loosen this bottom half inside you can pull it to release the bars to fold down the carry cot so here Ashley's just connecting the carry cot to the pushchair and at the back he's releasing the recliner so that the bottom half can slot in nicely and here you go comfy so with this as well you can also have um, a newborn or a baby in this side and you can have a toddler on the other side which is very convenient I think this is so cool but there's a lever that just releases the carry cot swiftly again from the back here we've put it all together and we was testing to see if it would go through the doorway which it did and we felt like it was pretty narrow but as i said the buggy's only about 65 67 centimeters wide and we were seeing okay if it can go through the hallway we can go through the front door and it can go through the lift etc as you can see we are pretty pleased with this because that was one of the fears was having a giant double buggy as i mentioned it's 360 wheel and it's so lightweight and we're so happy with the color, with the system, with the size, and so please. <laughs> Lastly, I wanted to see how my changing bag with the double strap fit across the handlebars for the buggy, and it turned out pretty good. So we just got our delivery for some accessories for the double buggy. Got the hand muff this is essential and Ashley's laughing but when these hands are cold winter time it's gonna be trying to get that then I got um, oh yeah the double weather shield protector that's pretty cool actually I need that and then I got um, oh yeah the child tray I've got two of these to clip on to the buggy that you have because when they get older that'd be nice to put the like, drink and snacks when they're rolling around cruising and i think this is the same thing yeah same one. Oh, oh i've got um the universal parent console so you can keep whatever you need in here again that's fine that oh, oh okay <laughs> that one is like i don't know like you see them people in the school with delivery Deliver you could have my buggy. <laughs> Alright. No, you laugh, it's fine. Keep You're laughing. Keep your hands They're going at speed. Are you gonna be going at speed well, then? Speed what? I've got a foot muff for the babies, two of these, so you can insert it when you're cruising and it can be nice and warm. So that's the stuff that we got from Baby Jack. What's that on that side? Mm -hmm. There's more. We've got this oh wow. Oh snap, yeah. We've got the glider board as well for Ava, but she's still small, so I've been asked her to cruise on that. And then what's that over there? Oh, this, you really oh, okay. So, yeah, that's what we got. Fresh. <laughs> so, this is what the parent console looks like. It's lots of room, sit, storage, and then this is the glider board. Probably not going to open anything else because it's all winter related okay hey guys so I finally stocked up the trolley like I said I would right now we have here the nappies and in here is just some little bits like, like so many. so some essentials that I've been using Got wipes in the back, powder, baby soap, and I got lots of flannels and washcloths. And these are from IKEA. Got some olive oil. I've got all these bit little freebies that I got, like um, oh, bubble soap. Um, their dummy case, and then in this bit, I have um, baby grows vest and bibs, and the same thing down here. I have these baby grows vest and bibs and some socks and that's basically it and so i will this around when i'm going to the um, living room or i bring it back for the bedroom and it's so convenient and this is from ikea as well i'll link it down below thanks for watching